Hi, it's Coach John. This segment, we're going to talk about maybe one of the most important positions on the field, okay, and that's catching. Why is it important? Well, think of it as kind of the general of the field. They sit behind everything, they see everything, they touch the ball every play, and catchers are responsible for making the pitchers look good. Do they always get the credit? Maybe not, but us coaches love them. Now, catching is a different animal. You have to be a certain type of personality to really excel at catching, okay? You're diving around, you're getting dirty, okay? A few bumps, a few bruises, but you have a lot of control in the game. You're directing traffic, you're seeing what's going on. You're talking your pitcher up, you're helping her through moments where maybe her confidence is a little shaken. So in this segment, we're gonna talk about some drills that can help the starting catcher and transition through the more experienced catcher that just wants to maintain skills so that they don't diminish over time. Let's go get started. I want to thank Jacqueline from the Michigan Batbusters for coming out today and giving us a hand. She's going to demonstrate some drills that will help um, kind of tune things up for you and sharpen your skills. First one we're going to work on is a blocking drill that both isolates just your hands for quick reflexes and isolates your bottom half so that you can have a fast body moving in between blocking pitches. In this drill, Jacqueline's already on her knees and she's isolating just using her glove in order to stop the ball. This works on quick reflexes and handling pitches in the dirt. Notice how Jacqueline creates a shell and curls her body so that if the ball does bounce over her, it rolls forward so she can retain it and stop a runner. In this next drill, Jacqueline's now going to isolate her lower body in order to stay quick and not use her hands at all. So this is about using the feet, collapsing on the ball, and keeping it in front of you. As simple as these drills seem, they work on the fast twitch muscles and reflexes necessary to maintain good composure when a pitch is coming at you that isn't quite where it might want to be or you expected it to be. One of the most important things a catcher can do is help her pitcher out by framing a pitch. We always like to think umpires are gonna give us all the strikes and not call the uh, ones that are questionable, but sometimes a catcher with some soft hands and some directional maneuvering can help get that extra strike. There's an easy way using simple tennis ball in working those hands, focusing on the ball, securing it, and making sure you get those inside and outside corners. In this drill, Jacqueline's simply going to be in her crouch and she's gonna have bare hands. Now the tennis balls are soft, so this allows the catcher to focus on the technique and not worry about getting hurt. Notice how Jacqueline's looking straight into the ball and tracking it all the way to her hand. Now as the ball goes on the outside part of the plate, Jacqueline's thumb will be facing downward. If she retrieves the ball on the inside part of the plate, the thumb is upward. Now this is all of course in reference to a right-handed batter. It's a good idea to vary the height and the sides in which you're throwing to your catcher. That way they can react on their own and get some muscle memory. Simple tools, inexpensive, great results. So as you advance through the ranks and base runners start moving, 
or we've got action over in the field that we need to deal with, you're going to have to come out of your crouch and throw the ball around the bases. Okay? Your arm strength will develop over the years. However, a great way to cut down time on getting a ball to a base is the transfer. The transfer sometimes takes a long time and can eat up precious time with a runner trying to steal. However, with a few simple drills, you can cut down on that transfer time and improve your throw down. Now in this drill, Jacqueline is going to receive a ball and transfer into a pop. We call it a pop. It's coming out of the crouch into a throwing position. She's going to transfer the ball from her hand, her glove hand, into her throwing hand. In the drill here, she's going to discard that ball into the net. We can do this in a fairly rapid succession because she knows the drill. Once your catcher gets used to it, you can challenge them both with their physical conditioning and their skill level by increasing the speed of the drill. If you can see, Jacqueline's right foot is dropping back at the same time that her left foot is coming forward. This enables her to start shifting her weight towards second base before she makes the throw. If you haven't noticed already, we have some crossover skills from the, uh, one of the other drills we showed you with the tennis ball. Jacqueline's using those same skills learned, tracking the ball into the mitt and seeing it for the discard into the net. She's always seeing the ball into her glove. So really all it takes is, I don't know, five feet of space, a couple of balls, and a motivated athlete, and you're working on skills. The next drill that involves helping with transfer or throwing mechanics is really simple. All you need is a folding chair, and this allows your catcher to take the bottom half of the movement out of this transition and just focus in transitioning from the catch to the transfer into the hand. So, with any of these drills, I want you to keep in mind that you want your catcher to understand what they're trying to accomplish and to mentally associate that with the skill that they're working, okay? So, if they're working, worried about a ball being discarded and it wasn't caught perfectly, understand that that's part of the growing process. Things aren't always going to go the way they want, but it does end up uh, working in, as far as learning goes. Sometimes the best things we learn are through failure, not successes. Keep working. I hope you enjoyed this latest video from K2 Mentoring. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button and of course share it with your friends and teammates. Now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next great video. And again, thanks for training with us. Enjoy and keep working hard.